What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Cool with Cool Kids and yeah, we're at the mall you guys because the malls in LA are open. I, I, I'm like a giddy little schoolgirl. I was super surprised. So I am here for a couple reasons. Uh, Shoe Palace as well as Finish Line are both open. Also, Shoe Palace does have a raffle for the Royal Toes, which is crazy as hell. They also have an in-store raffle for the Flints and that expires today. I don't know if this mall opened today or a couple days ago. But yeah, I don't know, I'm hella surprised. So yeah, let's go see what's up, you guys. Let's go see what's up. All right, I do have the mask on. I don't want, I don't want people talking smack about me being a douchebag not wearing a mask. So yeah, let's go see what's up. I don't think I talked about where we're at. We're, we're at the Glendale Galleria. And yeah, and I definitely got, got the taco PEs. Got the Kyrie Taco 5 PEs. Yeah, let's go see what's up. See what they got. I think these fools are here for the raffle too, because no, I heard them talking. Oh, you're not here for, you guys aren't here for a raffle? No. Oh. I was dicking around these guys. Yeah, they're here for the, both the raffles. All right, so champs, they are definitely not open. Um, I know finish line is open and then the shoe palace. Oh, the shoe palace, I think is, I think the shoe palace is like, oh, it's upstairs. Shoe palace is up there. Yeah, let's go get it, let's go get in that raffle. There's a line doing the raffle right out front. Yeah, let's go see what's up. Get in line, get a part of the raffle. Hope we hit something. I've never won anything at this at this shoe palace. We'll see what happens. Looks like a majority of the stores are not open. Few of the shops, but mostly not, yeah. I am next. They are blaring the shit out of the music. The music is super loud, so hopefully I don't have to do a voiceover. We'll kind of see what happens. Apparently we're at Club's Shoe Palace, man. Music is blaring. All right, so I filled out a raffle and now I have to get back in line. <laughs> to get back in line to get get back into the store, you guys. I don't know what the capacity is. There, there are actually a few people in the store. Kind of, kind of crazy. But yeah, apparently I did talk to my man right there. Did talk to my man. Not polite to point, but yeah. But I did talk to him right there. He did say that they don't have that many pairs. He's saying that the Flint 13s are are not a typical GR, so that's that's very interesting to, to, to hear. Finally in Club Shoe Palace. Finally in Club Shoe Palace. Let's see what they got, you guys. See if they got any sales. Let's see if they got anything dope. Hey, how's it going, Chief? All right, let's go see what's up. Let's go see what the, the Jordan section. I'm trying not to try not to be too close to everybody. They do have the DMPs just chilling. You know, so they haven't been open. Can't really say they've sat because, you know, they just, they just opened it. Either today or yesterday, I was kind of curious. Got the Jordan 6, six denims going for a buck 30. Pretty, pretty decent. The winterized fours, Laker 13s going for retail. The metallic fours going for retail. Dang, the, the leather on these bad boys, man. Damn, buttery, buttery. FIBA fours, leather. See, look, not as buttery as, as this one. Not as buttery, but but still solid, still solid. Always love the threes, can't complain, dude. Got the Island, the Island Green 13s going for a buck 40. All right. Am I retarded? Did I call these the FIBA 4s, by the way? What the hell? What's wrong with me? Yeah, got the got the uh, Red Cement. Red Cement 3s going for a retail. Wow. And then we got the FIBA 4s right here. It says it's on sale, the whole, what, $10? So these go for, what, $1.99 or something? Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, these aren't bad, not bad. Don't really see any sale on the Jordan 1s. Most of them are mids, they do have some lows. Nothing super hyped, nothing super dope. Those of you guys who've been with uh, with me for a while, I always have to check out the, the Jordan Hydro Sandals. Uh, when these go on sale, towards the end of summer, man, I'll probably cop some of those. Those I'm not a fan of, go for 20 bucks. Just looking at stuff on sale, kind of done with the Jordans. These bad boys, the React 270s go for 80 bucks. Pretty good deal, because I think these will go for like, what, 130, 150 or? Wow, look at this one, you guys, $50. These these apparently go for 169, but usually 170, that's crazy. That is crazy, man. You probably got some resale value on this bad boy, but this is a size 10 and a half. Probably got the bigger sizes since, since it's only a 10 and a half out here. 
90 for these bad boys, kind of big. These kind of big, I mean like extra huge. These are like size 13 so. All right, and these are bad, but look, yeah, that's the retail right there, buck 60. Got a bunch of the Air Max 90s. I think I'm gonna have to get some Air Max 90s now because I did order some Air Max 90 slides. All pretty much going for retail, pretty much going for retail. Okay, we got some on sale right here. Look at this, the all white, triple white, going for $70, man. These are pretty good, pretty sweet for 70 bucks. These hitting, these hitting for 70 as well. And these go for 100. Cool colorway. They do have a really, really big selection of the old school Reeboks. I don't even know what the hell those are called. The Reebok Classics, I think. But yeah, look at this, $30, dude. $30, not a bad find. Not digging the colorway, but 30 bucks, man. Can't go wrong with that. It's a different silhouette. I don't really know the names, you guys. I guess this is a Reebok Classic. Go for 70, 65 bucks. 60 for those. And yeah, 55, 60 bucks for most of them, it looks like. All right, you guys know I'm usually not all about the Adidas, but hey, when there's stuff on sale, like these ain't bad. Look at these, the, the new NMDs. Go for 100 bucks. All right, because those are normally like, what, 150 or something? Ultra Boost. The old school Ultra Boost. Looks dope with the black boost. But yeah, a buck 40. And then the Ultra Boost 2019s, I believe, right? A buck 30 for these. I don't know. I don't dig that purple one. I, I prefer the black ones better. But that price, though, a buck 30, not bad. 90 for these. There's these some. Um, oh, I was. <laughs> did I really almost say Chinese? Oh my god. So yeah, the Japanese with the Japanese already. The NMDs with Japanese already. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty decent look. I guess the NMD prices went down. Are they normally a buck thirty? Dang, I remember they used to be like a buck fifty. Dang. Got some of the newer, newer silhouettes. Is this like the Ultra Boost twenties or something? I don't know. Okay, got these look sleek, man. These look, these look super fast. Buck thirty for those, and one of the old schools, a buck thirty. Dang. All right, they do have plenty of the Air Max ninety sevens. None of them on sale though. None of them on sale, but but I do dig a lot of these colorways. A lot of the bold colorways, they got that, I don't know, the Unite Pack or something? I forgot what those are called, but they, they got the few different solid colors. All right, I think we're gonna wrap it up, you guys. Was about to wrap it up, but the Tailwind's going for 70 bucks, dude, not bad. And I think these go for, what, 150 normally? Another colorway, 70 bucks, not too shabby. And 100 for these, not too bad, not too bad. Which, is this the currency colorway? I guess they do have a couple Nike basketball sneakers. Yeah, buck 40 for those. Not too bad, not too bad, because those go for what, 200? And then the up tempos, I love these. I just got me a pair. Buck 60, go for retail. They just came out, so yeah, you can't really can't really expect to find too many of these on sale. So yeah, dope. All right, I was gonna smash out, but I did see these, man. I had this in my cart yesterday on Snipes, on the Snipes website, and I didn't pull the trigger and I'm kind of regretting it. Like, cause yeah, right there they had it with no tax. 25 bucks, normally 45. Just some um, fleece, fleece shorts, but it does have the Jumpman, a huge Jumpman logo on it. Not too bad, that's my size too. But there is a pretty big line here. Scarface sweatshirt, what these bad boys go for? They are on sale, cause this is the sale rack. Just don't know the price. So I don't know, I'm touching the hell out of everything. I kind of feel bad. Oh my goodness, $10. Ten freaking dollars. Normally fifty bucks. Holy crap, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Got Scarface on the side. Got that. Damn, ten dollars, you guys. That's what happens when the summer comes, man. Everything goes on sale. Nike Air sweatshirt, twenty-five bucks. Normally goes for what? Normally goes for what? Sixty-five dollars or something. Pretty solid deal. XL, JDI sweatshirt or hoodie. Got a fleece jacket, Nike Air. It looks like a Nike Air, kind of like a SB logo, the old school. But yeah, go for forty dollars. Not bad, not bad. More than fifty percent off. All right, let's wrap it up, you guys. Wrap it up. I'm done. There were a few things worth copping. Um, yeah, the Scarface, that Scarface sweatshirt. I really wondered if I should get that or not. Don't really think I need another hoodie because I do have quite a few of those bad boys now. So I. I didn't pull the trigger. This location doesn't have that many Nike basketball sneakers, so they barely had any of those. They only had those up tempos as well as the LeBrons. But yeah, not not too bad, not too bad. Deal at the Glendale Gallery, guys. I did not know they had a Flight 23 store here. Holy crap. Holy crap, that's dope. Definitely gonna have to visit them next time. Not open yet though, not open. 
No candy, no massage chairs, nothing right now, nothing. No champ, no champs either, they're closed. Any good sales, you guys? Any good sales? No good sales? Dang you, champs, dang you. Oh, so I did make a pretty big, pretty big error. Didn't bring any hand sanitizer, but they do have some right here. This is that watery stuff. Not a big fan of these. We got some new rules. Of course, this is pretty much a standard rule almost everywhere. And then the occupancy is significantly lower. The place is pretty big. It only can hold 43 people right now. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Seems like 80% of the stores aren't open, you guys. 80% of the stores are not open. But finish line, we are open. Let's go see what's up. Let's see. Hope we can find some deals. All right, let's check out the Jordans, you guys. Definitely start with those. I don't see any sale tags, but see, see if they got anything super hyped. Got all the new releases, the DMP6s. Definitely got the metallics. And we got the neon fours, too. Dang. These on sale or anything? Nope, 225. All going for retail. Do got the Ferrari 14s, the black Ferrari 14s. Still going for retail, wow. Dang, dude. I picked mine up for like, pick, pick mine up for like a buck 29, dude. That's crazy. Do got quite a few lows here. Nothing super hype though. No deals either. Continue with more of the lows. I think some people were going all crazy over these, right? I don't know, there were people trying to trying to find these. I think these were sold out some places. Then we got Mid City, you guys. Let's call this Mid City. Oh, dang, they actually have these. It's kind of cool for a mid. It's actually dope for a mid. Not bad at all, dude. <laughs> Pretty dope for a mid, you guys, not bad. I'm going for a buck 15, all right, going for retail. All right, they got these, they got these. What are these, the, uh, the satin? Damn, we saw these for hella cheap. Go, still going for retail, there. Got the mid shadows. Pretty interesting, because it has that, it's not satin material. What, what material is that right there? Maybe it is satin, I don't know. But yeah, going for retail price. Kind of cool that that's kind of embroidered instead of just just regular regular leather. Yeah, nothing nothing super hyped in the Jordan section. Let's go look around. Dang man, I thought they'd have some sales and shit. Like, dang. Good thing I got into a raffle over there at at Shoe Palace because there's really not much, you guys. This is a brand new colorway, the bread, just released during quarantine. That was a quarantine release. I've never seen this. What the hell is this? I don't even know what colorway this is of the Kyrie Six. All right, going for retail, buck thirty. These on the Finish Line website were going for $70. Oh, okay, this is going for $80 here, $85. $85, not too bad, $85. Normally a buck ten, I believe. Do you got the Dame 6. Bought my first Dame 6 ever. Do you get the Push the T collab during the quarantine? All right, this is going for retail. What's that, buck? Buck 20? A oh, buck 10. Buck 10, not bad. For Red, LeBron's going for, going for retail game, 200 bucks. Oh wait, that's not the infrared. That's the infrared. So what colorway is this? I don't know what colorway it is. Yeah, 200 bucks though. We got the David Robinson. Go for 200. All right. Not too bad. It does. That does look kind of cool. It looks got that Command Force vibe to it. Not bad. Do got the regular black ones. Do got the regular black PGs going for 85 bucks. Not too shabby. 85 bucks. Slight discount. Then we got the breads going for a buck ten retail price. Hundred bucks for the shocks. Buck twenty for those. Not too big of a discount, dang. Hundred for those as well, man. These are not hitting, man. People don't like these, huh? Dang, we got the four scum. Uh Cortez's still going for 75. Dang, my man's been going around cleaning the floor the entire time we've been here, dang. And I just realized, look, the entire entire door's not open. They've only made it where hey, you can only go in that one little area. Okay. So they do have all these little little stickers where everybody's supposed to stand, try to make everybody social distance and whatnot. Do, uh, do have those lines as well, I don't know what those lines are for. They always got such a good selection of the Air Max. Nothing crazy on sale though, you know, you got, got slide sales a buck 30 instead of 160 slide sales, but nothing crazy, nothing too crazy, guys. I thought there'd be all kinds of sales and this is about it, $50 off of these. Are super dope though. But not no buck fifty dope though, man. That's crazy. Is this one of the newer colorways? I have no clue. This is pretty dope. Pretty dope. Going for a retail, so buck sixty. Not bad. Not bad. 
but I like them for way cheaper than that. Slight discount on these bad boys. Not that much though, man. More of a more of a discount, but uh, the old school ones, those look better though. Black History Month, man, these have been sitting everywhere. That's how they're surprising. Then the 200s, man, they've been on sale everywhere, right? 200s. Nobody's been picking these up. And we're definitely gonna wrap it up, you guys. Really not much. But yeah, that's about it, you guys. We're gonna wrap it up. I think I'm gonna smash out. Not much going on. All right, you guys. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Um, yeah, it was an interesting trip. I was definitely happy to, to get into the raffles. Shoe Palace had the raffles for the Royal Toes as well as the Flint 13s. But yeah, I really thought the deals would be a lot better. I thought they'd be welcoming us with all these crazy ass deals, but no, not really. Uh, what makes that really interesting is that the online retailers, like the same retailers online had, had the craziest deals, crazy deals. And then all of a sudden there's really nothing here, man. That's kind of disappointing. So let me know how that compares with the malls in your guys' area. Have you guys even been out to the malls? I know most of you guys in California have not hit up the malls. Like, I was super happy that this one was open. I didn't even know. Good looking out, Andres, for letting me know. Good looking out. Because, yeah, I definitely got into the raffles and stuff. And, yeah, it was, it was interesting. I just, like I said, I, I thought there'd be better deals, but not really. So, yeah, thanks for joining, guys. Definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Help your boy out. Um, if you're new to my channel, make sure you guys go ahead and press that subscribe button. And, yeah, don't forget to click that notification bell as well. And, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, we get to the Nike outlet ASAP. We'll see what happens. Peace.